Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on super bright LED panels. So I outfitted my kitchen with under cabinet lights from super bright, the lights in the ceiling, my logo light, I got a fake window. I got all of these from super bright LED. Okay, so one of the main reasons I got them is they've got a remote control that I absolutely love. And I can control each of these LEDs with this remote separately. So let's do just the ceiling lights. Let's turn them off. There's the ceiling lights. I can turn them on. I can change the color of the ceiling lights and the brightness all from this remote. I could do all the lights, but I'm, I got them grouped into groupings. So let's go back to this. Let's turn those off. Let's go to the fake window. I'm going to put blinds over that fake window. So go to two. I can turn it on and off. I can change the color of it also and dim it and bright it. Let's turn it off. Now let's go to my logo, which I really do like. It's three. I can turn it on and off. And then I can change the color of it and the temperature. So I really like this. This is really nice. You have to send them uh, your image and then they can put it in this. Let's turn it off. It does, I did mount it in their frame. They sell this frame that it sticks out from the wall. So here's the back side of my logo light. Now I didn't have to cut this big a hole. I made a mistake, but it's covered up with the frame, but I did put a plug on it and I just ran it to a plug and then the plug is controlled with a switch. Now I can control these with a zero to 10 volt dimmer, but I, it's also got a uh, Wi-Fi that I can use that remote to control it with also. Okay. So let's hit the all button and let's turn all those lights off. Now let's talk about the under cabinet lights. The under cabinet lights are the cob lights, 4,000, the red, green, blue, plus their 4,000 white. Now they were kind of hard to install. I really do like this remote. It was worth it though. So I can turn them on and off with this remote here and I can change the color. So right now I've got it in the white, but if I want to go to the, look at that. I've got, now I do have to have separate controllers for all those that this remote controls, which I'm going to show you, but this is the reason I got these lights. I can do a color, I can go dim or bright, but if I'm doing something else, I just want to go to white, I can take them all to a standard white that you don't normally get. It has separate white LEDs. If you're trying to get the white from the colored LEDs, it doesn't look this way. Okay, so let's take a look at them. Now you can fold them at the corners. Originally, I, I called them and they said you couldn't do that. Um, but I, it, soldering the wires to make 90 degree bends is almost nearly impossible. So that's where the trick is soldering these wires. Here's the controller you got to have and the power supply. Now here's the controller and one end of it does come with the wires already soldered, but um, it, it was a really long length. So I used part of it here. Then I cut it. Then I put some of it here, which you can see. And I did the folding on top of itself. They do have a video on their website that shows you how to fold it. That's for their other ones, but it did seem to work for this. And then I had to put my own power supply and then another controller. And then you just strip the wires and they go into these terminal strips. So this part's really easy. It's soldering the wires onto the LED. So again, just getting back, I couldn't find any LEDs that did this. I did a lot of research. Um, these this works really well. It was a lot of work doing this. Now the other ones are not much work. You just hook up power and the remote works. So, but I really wanted this because of the color and then be able to so say I'm doing a, something, you know, it's cool and I want something neat. I can change all the color, but then I want to go right to white. Just hold that button and it goes right to white. And here they, this looks like a normal kitchen now, but again, say I want to do something fun. That's the main thing I got them for. And then I can go dim, bright. Okay, so getting back to this window frame, this is a two by two. Um, I had to build this from scratch. There was a family handyman um, article and I followed it step by step. Yeah, it was in this issue here. Now, and they called it basement daylight. So they, they used the two by four. Uh, that's like the bigger panels I got in the ceiling. I didn't use that, but again, you gotta make this from scratch. It, it was a little tricky. Um, but I thought it turned out okay. And then I got, all I got to do is I got the blinds on order. So I'll be putting the blinds on it. 
Now this wall mount, I did kind of mess up a little bit. These screws, this part should be on the bottom. And, but I thought I was gonna run into not finding the two by fours and, and my circle breaker panels right here. So I wasn't able to drill, go into the drywall right here or anything. So I just had to kind of turn it sideways for the bracketing. Okay, so let, this is the under cabinet LED light and they call that the cob. Now, another reason I got that cob is because it doesn't have a hot spot. So when it's shining down, you won't see the individual LEDs. It's like a one continuous light. And I do think that that works really good, but you don't have a lot of room here. Now it is nice. You can cut it right in the middle of this copper strip. Um, you don't want to cut it. You don't want to cut it on these solder joints but you can cut it here. Now I did run into a problem when I would, I would cut it with a normal cutter. I would try to make a perfect cut, but sometimes these lights right next to the cut would be a different color. The rest of the strip would be fine, but the, just this little section right next to where the cut was, it would change to a different color, whatever, according to whatever those were. I don't know what was going on there. It might've been my soldering job. Now, this is my soldering job. Now I consider myself a pretty good solder but not micro soldering. Um, it's really, really small. Okay, so you can see, you've got to have a five conductor wire and you've got to put one wire on each one of these. Now, these two aren't too bad. You got some spacing. These three turned out to be a very big challenge. Um, but I had to, had to get a desoldering stick and I had to desolder it a few times and start over. And there is a film on it, so when you cut it, Make sure you use a little bit of Scotch-Brite on that and just a little bit and there's a little bit of film on it. Now, I think eventually they're gonna sell connectors because I did call their customer service and talk to somebody and he said that they don't have the connectors yet but they're working on it. When they get connectors for these where you just slide it on and you put the wires in something else, that's gonna be game changer uh, because these actually are really nice LEDs. They do have the two-sided tape on the back that you peel off. Uh, and the wire, they didn't send me five conductor wires, so I had to kind of make up my own, put some tape on one of the wires to make it white. So it goes white, blue, green, red, and then black. And again, this is the wire they sent me. I thought they were going to send me five conductor wire. And then I did practice on this one. So when I got to a corner, so like it's up underneath and you got to make a 90 degree bend, you're just going to kind of fold it onto itself and then put it like that. Now you are gonna have to get some clamps. This double-sided tape works pretty good, but you wanna get some clamps, especially for this corner. And here's the remote. It's the red, green, blue, a 2.4 gigahertz. Now it doesn't connect to your local Wi-Fi. It just uses a Wi-Fi between the two components. I'm not sure what's going on there. This is the, uh, I told you you need to buy one of these for each cabinet. This is the controller. 2.4 gigahertz. It does say they have more remotes. I didn't see a whole bunch of remotes. Now it's not compatible with this remote because this is just for the bicolor, you know, like the, the white from 3000 K to 5000 K. This is red, green, blue controller, but it looks like they do have some different controllers. Now be sure and keep the little instruction manual that comes with it because this is gonna show you how to link it up. It is very simple. Um, it worked really well and you may have to unlink it and it shows you how you can group it into buttons and different things. You can do groupings on that one. And so to link it, you're just gonna unplug it. When you plug it back in, you're gonna press this. Yeah, make sure you get the right uh, manual. This is the manual for it. You're gonna press this. When you first plug the light in, you're going to short press the I button three times, or I call it the I button, but it's that top button right there on this first one. You're going to press that really quick. This remote's really sensitive. You got to press it really quick, and then that's going to link it. And then the light will blink three times, and that means it's, it's paired with this controller. And I did that. That's pairing this. So it's going to pair this with this controller, and that will control your under cabinet lights, that, this cob light. And if you want to unpair it, you're going to press that same button five times within three seconds. And the lights will blink ten times, indicating that they've unpaired. And I did forget to mention, these, these lights have modes. I don't really do the modes that much, but it does have modes, and you can change the speed. So let's just go over some of the modes. 
Again, I'm just pressing the mode button. So it's got. Okay, so the, I, you got to make sure you got to find these little manuals. Um, you don't want to lose these that come with these. They're in this box. So these are the modes. You've got dynamic mode tables, stroll, stroll, you know, there's several different kinds there. Now, I did call them during normal business hours, and they had a technician that walked me through because I, I looked and looked. I tried to figure out how to do these lights. Um, and he just exactly told me exactly what to get, so I ordered it. He actually put it in a cart and sent me the cart online. So they were very, very helpful. Now, I have had a few things. This, this fake window light, it is humming. And they are going to warranty, but they want me to send the old one back first, which is going to be kind of a pain. These top ones, I think they've developed one or two of them has a little hum sometimes. The hum's kind of, it's like a vibration. I've noticed when the lights are on, sometimes I'll hear like a vibration kind of inside the LED panel. And it kind of will be, it's not super loud, but it is a little annoying. But then it does go away, but then it does come back. This one for sure. So I am going to replace this one. Yeah, and this, this cob light... This big roll of this, it was kind of expensive. So the fake window without a controller, the controller is pretty cheap. It's usually about 10 bucks, but the windows is 70. That's the two by two. Now the one with my logo in it, it's a two by two custom print LED sky lens, tunable white. It's $130. And I couldn't believe, I sent them the logo and within a day they had it coming back to me. Now, I, they're in St. Louis, Missouri, and I live about an hour away. Um, so the shipping was still pretty expensive, and we were able to go down and pick them up one time. Okay, so that cob light, it's the red, green, blue, white. It was $220. You get five meters, which is about 16 feet. That's the smallest you can get. But then here, you'd have to buy these wall adapters. And then yet there's the uh, mixer boxers or controllers. And that little bitty remote was kind of expensive, $37.90. Yeah, there's the wire. I should have gotten five uh, wire. Instead, I got four wire. It's pretty cheap by the foot. And then there's the frame I got for that window or that um, logo light. Now, the big panels, they were, they're expensive to ship. And they are, you know, there's the, there's the panels, $160. Well, that was 160 because I got the controller and the tunable or the, um, I got a surface mount kit for that, but I didn't have using it. But the panel itself, $120. Now, as far as I know, these are not on Amazon. Now, there are lots of lights out there that are kind of similar to this, but I wanted the remote control. I really do love this remote control. Um, and that's the main reason I got what I got. So underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. That helps out my channel. I've been using these lights, you know, off and on here a little bit, you know, other than that little hum. I really haven't had any problems with them. The setup was very easy. They work. I do like the light output of them. Other than soldering these, again, I really debated whether it was going to be worth it or not. I am glad that I did solder the ends on here because I really do love those under cabinet lights. My, my thing would be just give them a call. Um, they did answer every single time. It's the people in St. Louis that answer, and they were very, very helpful. So I hope this video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.